and welcome mystical mayhem fans i'm your host joe's Moore here and i'm bringing you week one of the mystical mayhem and we're facing off against ant-man and his volcaronas here uh and he drafted a sun team uh looks like he's gonna try to bring some trick room which i wasn't expecting but you know it is what it is and this is a vgc draft league i know i know i'm terrible <laughs> bgc draft but you know we're, we're giving it a shot one more time we do have a great person helping us out uh zach johonet uh juhu johu uh look him up on twitch he does a lot of bgc stuff and good luck have fun ant in game one and this is going to be a best of three series so let's see how we fare against this lead here and yeah i am going straight for that groudon i'm going straight for the groudon i want that thing off the field and i want lilligant not to be a problem to me i actually might just hit the lilligant Because I know Lilligan's going to be a problem. And this Intimidate's going to kind of help us live a couple hits from the Groudon. So it might not be the worst thing to just... Uh... Oh, I didn't bring Fusion Bolt. <laughs> okay, that's a slight problem, but not the worst thing in the world. Because he didn't bring Charizard. So, alright. Uh, week 1, we got issues going. Uh, this is no Dynamax as well, so we, not, we will not be Dynamaxing anything. And I do want to get the fake out into Lilligan. And I Icicle Spirit into Groudon. If we hit, I believe, four times, we should be able to kill, depending on the bulk investment of this thing. And, of course, we only hit twice. So, Precipice Blades goes off. Uh, great. Dodge the attack. So, that's fantastic. And I'm going to go Protect here and i'm gonna go out to baby yoda because i feel little against gonna try to put us to sleep and incineroar cycling out its intimidate could help us in this battle a little bit longer we were shuka so we we're gonna live that hit no matter what but it is what it is so precipice blade goes off Clefairy is going to get hit this time around. And to avoid um, Lilligant being a problem, I'm going to attack that. And I'm going to go for Follow Me. I'm okay with Baby Yoda falling asleep here. So Groudon's going to withdraw, so good thing we didn't hit into that. Tapu Fini's coming in. So actually, Fusion Volt not being around does hurt us a little bit. A lot of bit, actually. Oh, man. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. If we lose, I mean, it's going to be kind of one of the big parts of it. But I'm not going to try to put the blame all on that, too, as well. Oh, and the mist protects us from falling asleep. So, Lilligant's no longer going to be a problem. And... So Lilligan goes down, Groudon's in the back, of course it's still a big problem. Uh, Groudon can come back out here. And I'm going to go Icicle Spear into the Groudon. And I'm going to go back to Great to uh, try to live this hit and then, uh, you know, potentially Snarl or Fake out the Feeny next turn. And this way, Baby Yoda can still protect uh, our other big hitter in Calyrex Shadow. So, great comes back out. And we get our Intimidate off. And Vulcana is going to hit at least two times with Icicle Spear. So, that's not going to be a problem for us anymore. Groudon goes down. And we're at a 4-2 advantage. But, again... We are missing a big, big move on our dragon here. 
So Moonblast is going to go off, take us out, which is actually going to be working out for us since we don't have that electric move. So now he's going to be kind of forced to uh, be pretty uh, aggressive here. Of course, um, Beanie is going to be pretty uh, specially defensive, I'm sure. And Heliolisk being able to um, block our one of our biggest hits is going to be a problem. So I'm going to go substitute here. Yeah, I'm going to try to get off a fast substitute. And I'm going to Flare Blitz into the Heliolisk because that's the biggest problem right now. Electroweb. Okay, so Heliolisk must be Scarfed because... Well, we're not max, max speed either. But that's fine. Johnny Blaze is still faster than Feeny, and we get our sub off, so that's going to help. Moonblast goes into our sub, which most likely breaks now. But at least now Heliolus should be gone. Yeah, I think it's gone. Okay, so now this turn, I'm going to protect. Uh, yeah, I'm going to protect. And I'm going to go Snarl to lower the uh, special attack stat. Shadow Ball, and that's not going to kill. So now that Feeny is minus one. And to play it safe, I'm going to switch to Baby Yoda here. And I am going to snarl once again. So Baby Yoda is going to be sitting in front of this Feeny, taking the hits. take that rather well all right snarl <laughs> snarling away so that special attack goes down once again and i'm gonna go for the i'm gonna go for the follow me and the parting shot because i think uh minus Three should be plenty. Uh, Feeny goes knockoff. That's fine. And that Feeny is life orb. So that's a very interesting. So that thing's just going to hit pretty hard. But now that it's negative three, we should be able to live anything. Well, I mean, Clefairy's just going to follow me anyway. So Johnny Blaze should just be able to um, hit this thing pretty hard and knock this thing out. I really should have double checked my sets though. At least he doesn't know we don't have the electric move. <laughs> Alright, so follow me once again. And let's see if we can end this uh, right here with this Astral Barrage. And that's such a cool animation. <clears throat> All right, so that did take it out. So that means uh, we we have a very good uh, attack, special attack based on that. So three one victory there, GG. Uh, we got game two to go, so we won't take your card yet unless we win. Because that's I don't know why I do that, but I just like to. So we're gonna play with the same rules. And I feel like he's going to try to get Trick Room going this battle. Just because he know, he's going to know now that we brought, like, full offensive. Like, we're, we're balls of the wall hitting hard. 
So I think I'm going to lead a different lead here. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go Johnny Blaze. And Incineroar. And in the back. I think it'll be good to have Zaboombafu. And. Uh. Yeah, let's go uh, cure him once again. So we won't have the follow me, but I'm assuming the trick room's coming. So let's let's try to get a jump on that. If he comes out with the same game plan, it could be rough for us to start. But um, I think we just fake out Astral Barrage. We are focused Sash. So we will live any hit. It'll just be... Um, if we can knock out Lilligant with one hit, that'll be the big, that'll be the big thing we're gonna have to worry about. But good luck, have fun in uh, game two, Ant. Hit on top and Feeny. Okay. Whew, so a little bit different lead here. He can't fake out um, Johnny Blaze, our Ghost Rider. <laughs> Love that nickname. Um, it could knock us off. We do get the Intimidate off. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do here. We are faster if he's min speed. If he's min speed, hit him on top. Oh, a Jack pack? Okay. All right. Interesting. So he gets the, um, he gets that off right off the gate. So now we know he has that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go into, uh, I think I'm going to go into Zaboombafu right away. And I'm gonna and I'm going to fake out the Tapu Fini. Man, having a normal typing is pretty awesome for him. I did not think about Heliolisk is uh normal typing uh coming to this game. Alright, so we fake out the Tapu Fini. Electroweb comes off, which is a very smart play. And now, I'm not even going to Grassy Glide. I think I just would hammer into that spot and get some big damage off on something. And uh, Incineroar being minus one on attack, uh, I feel instead of... Yeah, I'm going to Woodhammer into Feeny. And I'm just going to Parting Shot out into Heliolisk. And expecting him to switch. He's not going to want to take even a minus one hit. Tapu Fini's leaving. So yeah. Woodhammer's going to do a chunk to hit him on top. Not a lot. Cause, especially with the drop. Okay. Oh. Electro Heliolisk just goes Electro Web once again. So we're double slow here. And we got the wood hammer. Bringing the hammer down. And we do parting shot into Heliolisk. So we're going to go to uh, Curum now. Because I don't see a reason not to... Uh, I'm gonna fake out the hit on top because that's the that's the real threat. Uh, looks like um, Hilo is scarf into uh, Electro Web, which yeah, it's annoying, but it's not that big a deal. So let's fake out in the hit on top. Let's go Dragon Dance. And I really wish I had Fusion Bolt. 
Oh, I really wish I had fusion bolt. <clears throat> so Misty Surge comes back onto the field. Does him on top fake out? That's the big question. So he doesn't. Why did our fake out fail? Oh, this is not our first turn out. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a big time idiot. I fudged that one. And now Kiram's gonna go down because of that, probably. No, it doesn't. But still, <laughs> took way too much unnecessary damage on that. Um, I'm gonna wood hammer into Feeny. <sighs> Such an idiot. Why did? <sighs> I'm throwing, guys. I am not a doubles battler, and it shows. So I'm gonna ice go sphere into a Hitmon top. If it has mock punch, it has mock punch. At this point. And I kind of screwed up this game too. I should have, I should have, um, I should have attacked. I should have attacked. Oh, man. So Tapu Fini goes protect, which is very smart. Hit on top, goes sucker punch, and that's enough to take us out. And wood hammer into Fini, and that does not go. Okay, I'm going to go to Johnny Blaze here. We have a chance to pull this back somehow, some way. So, Johnny Blaze comes back in. We go back to Incineroar. And we protect. We could also sub. I think I'm going to protect then sub. Because he's really going to be expecting the... Uh... Oh no. He's not keeping him on top end. So Heliolisk is the answer for this thing. And I guess we're going to cycle back out to where we were. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're not negative attack, I'm going to Flare Blitz to the Heliolisk. Unless this takes me out. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, but the Electro Web's going to take us out for sure. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go fake out into Heliolisk. And I'm just going to Astro Barrage. I, I buried myself this battle. And I'm just going to have to live with that. Let's see how much damage we do on Feeny. And that will give us some information for the third game, if anything. If we don't take it out here. But yeah, that, that play where I clicked Fake Out and I didn't have that ability to do that. That really hurt. So let's see how much Astral Barrage does to Feeny. It does about half, yeah. And Moonblast is going to go into Incineroar. This is actually... This might work out for it. This actually might work out for us. I'm going to go to Boongafu. And I'm going to... Should I Grassy Glide into it? No, we're still faster. I'm going to fake out the Heliolisk. And Astro Barrage once again. Oh, nice play. Well, that brings Heliolisk down, though. That's good. Doesn't knock it out, but it takes its health down is what i meant and uh we grassy glide the feeny 100 percent of the time and we go draining kiss no we go protect 
protect. Johnny Blaze goes protect. We uh, grassy glide into Feeny to knock that thing out. And it does. Beautiful. So we actually have a chance here, guys. We have a chance. Electro Web, once again, we don't get slowed down by that. So beautiful on our part. Sucker Punch might be the only uh, thing um, Hitmontop has to hit us. I do wonder if a Grassy Glide can knock out the uh, the Helio list after this Intimidate comes in. I doubt it. But that's going to be our play. That's going to be our play. That's going to be our only play. And we've got nothing in the back. So we know Heliolus is locked in. Hitmontop has Sucker Punch. It might just try to take out uh, Thwacky here. I'm going for the uh, Grassy Glide into Heliolus for the chip. I'm going sub on Johnny Blaze. Hitmontop should not be able to outspeed us even after the drop on the speed. Because this will be the first speed drop we get. Because we were able to fake out two turns. And then protect on the third one. So, so far, so good. We're in a good position. We can still win this round. Uh, I did put myself at a big disadvantage. But, I mean, Ant is also playing very well. Okay, Electroweb goes off. Which is fine. Johnny Blaze gets a substitute off. So Sucker Punch will go off before the uh, Electro Web here. If he decides to do that. I did forget he could fake me out. Which I should have went draining. Well, I couldn't risk it. I had to go for the uh, uh, substitute. Because if he draining kiss there. I mean, if I draining kiss and he Sucker Punch, that was game. Um, yeah, I'm going to just get Chip on the Heliolisk. I'm going to Draining Kiss the Hitmontop. And hopefully that's enough to take out his team on the next turn. Electroweb goes off. He doesn't go Sucker Punch. Uh, what does he decide to do? Does he have Knock Off? Well, we're going to hit first. Draining Kiss goes off into Hitmontop. That should take it out. It just doesn't. Oh, it just doesn't. And him on top goes close combat. So Thwacky goes down. Which is a very fair play. Healer Lisk is low. Uh, Johnny Blaze is at full. Hit him on top can sucker punch us, but it's only gonna break the sub. So we drain and kiss the hit him on top again because that's the major threat. Does break the sub. It does want to drop our speed. But we get this draining kiss off either way. And I wonder if the next draining kiss will knock out the Helio Lisk due to the special attack boost. So hit him on top goes down. Johnny Blaze ghost riding us to victory, hopefully. Grimnay. <laughs> no, I mean, Electroweb shouldn't be able to like two three shot us so i think we win this either way we just gotta keep clicking draining kits oh he has ground on i totally forgot that thing still existed and we are slower okay so that's a problem i'm pretty sure we're slower uh i'm gonna go 
astral barrage here. Because now we're minus three. We have no real speed investment. Shadow Claw, nice. Nice tech. Okay, I forgot Groudon was in the back, honestly. So GG, time to go to game three. And I think we go back to our original lead. Uh, not yet. Uh, hopefully we can win this. Play with same rules. Like I said, I did kind of fudge myself in that battle. Uh, maybe I could have got enough ice school crashes. I mean, ice school spears to take out the hit on top with Kurum instead of going almost yeah pretty much going down to the uh, close combat sucker punch combination. I don't know. I had a brain fart with the thwacky fake out and. Now we're in game three, so let's get it. <laughs> Going back to our original leads, uh, then Johnny Blaze and Baby Yoda. I also could have went Clefairy and just did a follow me dragon dance. But it's too late for that. So let's see what we decide to do here. He is uh, contemplate, complimenting, contemplating his lead here. <laughs> if this is the time he goes trick room, kudos to you. Because uh, that that would uh, hurt us our, in our lead in this position right now. But, I mean, it might help because he won't bring the Heliolus. But I doubt it. I think he's going to kind of uh, lead off with the similar lead. I mean, he was able to overcome that battle and beat us. So let's see what he decides to do here. Dust, Nor, and Groudon. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> that's, that's the dang thing. Okay. So he'll probably go protect on uh, Groudon. And we still get this attack drop on it, so that's always good. And he knows we have Shuckleberry and Life Orb now. I'm going to Ice School Spear the Dustnor. And I am also going to Flare Blitz it. And hope Groudon protects. <sighs> oh, he switches. Even better. So, can we stop this trick room from happening? So, Ice School Spear. One. Let's get five, baby. Come on, get five. Two. Okay, that's... Could have at least got me three. That might have put it in range of uh, Incineroar. Oh, it's in range anyway. No trick room for you. Beautiful. Like it. Love it. Want some more of it. Helo list comes in. All right. I'm going to protect on Kiram. He does not know I have protect. And I'm going to flare blitz the Helio list as well. No fusion bolt. What the heck, dude? Ah, oh, that made these battles a lot harder than they needed to be. Because I could have just fusion bolt right here, and that's a gone Feeny. So we go protect. Electroweb Heliolisk, which I'm not worried about. And that should be a dead Heliolisk as long as Feeny didn't hit Incineroar. And yes. Good 
Goodbye. So Heliolus goes down, and now we got two behemoths on the other side of the field in Feeny and Groudon. And honestly, I think the chip on Groudon here is more important than preserving Kirim. So I'm going to go Ice Shard into Groudon. And I'm going to Snarl. I mean, if we get four hits, this is a dead Groudon. Or five in this case. No, four. Come on. Let's get two more. Two more, baby. Two more. Two more. One more. Yeah, that Groudon is gone. Out of here. Goodbye, Irene. Okay, finally, after three times of getting two hits with Icicle Spear, we finally get a lucky one and get four. And here, um, uh... Good night, sweet prince. You've done your job. So that is a very lonely Feeny on that side. And we're just going to snarl it to death. And uh, not risk... Um, not risk it. Not risk it for the biscuit. Baby Yoda's going to come out here. And how does after you work? Because if I can get two snarls, that'd be great. move this help this you helper this user help the target make use of its move right after the user so i'm gonna go after you no 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 i'm gonna after you my own incineroar and i'm gonna snarl Beanie's gonna go straight for the knockoff and i hope after you works the way i think it does so snarl again. Oh no, I, it doesn't. It doesn't work the way I think it does. No, it's after it's if uh, Clefairy is faster. Okay, I'm just gonna go dazzling gleam and uh, snarl again. Chip this thing down for our great Pokemon in the back. I mean, it's chipping itself down too with the life orb. And Feeny is no longer a problem. Dang, Dazzling Gleam. Oh, crit. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not like it matters. The uh, next hit was going to die to a uh, uh, Grim. Uh, not a Grim. Uh, what do you call it? I don't even know my own Pokemon's name. It's because I don't really use the legendaries that much. Um, I'm going to go for Snarl once again. Where's my thing? GG's to the Ant-Man. He get, he gave us GG, so I'm giving GG's back. Incineroar does go down. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Uh, does Baby Yoda get the last kill with Dazzling Gleam? It does. So Clefairy gets a kill for week one. Uh, we get a win versus Ant-Man. Much thanks goes to uh, Zach Jahonet for helping me build um, and prep a lot. Uh because I'm a dense one, and when it comes to doubles, I am not great. And I will take your card now that I have actually gotten a chance to beat you. Uh, <laughs> he said, I really don't like Dustnor. I really don't like Trick Room. <laughs> but yeah, that that's a nice one. That was a great match. Uh, a, good, a good start to our week one. I, t I forgot a move. And somehow we still managed to win out. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to talk to Ant-Man and I'll see you guys next time.